So, hey guys, Chauso here. Welcome back to this new The Return of Far From TM, which is my monthly series which, where I prepped some episodes in advance showcasing some treasure map units, either boosters or normal TM units or such. And yeah, this month I'm going to start kicking things off with the OG treasure map booster, which is this buggy. He was the booster for the first treasure map, and I've heard that he was incredibly hard to pull. Uh, that some people spent over a thousand gems trying to get him. So yeah, must have been crazy times, but he's actually not a bad unit. His role on this team is to let me stall a bit more. He reduces strength damage by 80%. And he also does a bit of an ore boost, which is also helpful, depending on the ticker, like on stage four, there's some RNG there, so depending on the ticker, that ore boost may or may not matter. But yeah, the starter is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, Shamescrew is really good for all of these old Garp challenges, so... But yeah, we have some interesting subs at least. Apart from Buggy, we also have the, this Diamante. And I was surprised to see that he's actually really good for this. Like, usually you just run Bobbin, but Diamante does the same thing as Bobbin does, basically. Except he also has Slotbine. So he... And the Slotbine is important for the final stage, so Diamante was actually a better option than Bobbin here. And it was nice to notice that, because that might be helpful for future White Bear teams. And yeah, on this stage you see this run, <coughs> we got the normally bad RNG with a 2 turn for the strength unit here. But this time it's actually good because we can use Buggy's special now. And we also get an ore boost together with Shang's crew's attack boost. Which means we can at least avoid some damage here and yeah that's 80% of damage reduced so it keeps us well and healthy and yeah that's buggy's largest contribution here but yeah this extra stall is really nice many teams try to stall against yosu and often you have to take quite a bit of damage and yeah, obviously there are better options than this buggy, but yeah, I thought it was a fun way to make use of him. He has an interesting kit. So yeah, moving on. And yeah, we are in the in a great position now, special-wise. We use the amount as some orb control. And we get rid of the defense up and Raybone shield and we use our own Shang's crew here and yeah this is going to be really strong so we're not going to struggle with damage here going to swap the friend Captain Shine's crew, this gives a matching orb to Kaku, gives it to everyone, so that's nice. And yeah, we just pile on here, making max use of this Shine's crew. So yeah, moving on to final stage. Komu as a sub, it can be a bit annoying since she changes to quick or int, but she doesn't make int beneficial, so uh, there can be some RNG to it, but I mediated that a bit with 
having the Shanks crew swaps. But yeah, we got the good luck, so he was fine like this. And yeah, this is obviously a great position. And yeah. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck with the treasure map farm. See you next time.